Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokes Your Channel. Yeah, I just spent a few days in the mountains um, in, in a cabin, kind of overlooking the forest. Just, uh, it was nice. Just some peace and quiet. And uh, actually I actually had a cut in my finger. I couldn't do much playing at all. But you know, sometimes it's good to step away from the guitar. And I, I barely touched it for three days. But you know what? I think I'm, I'm always playing the guitar in my head anyway. So, <laughs> which is kind of part of the guitar ladder system, by the way. But yeah, I'm just having so much fun today playing this uh, Samick that just came in today. A few couple days ago, a few days ago, um, Jay Z too with the highly quilted back. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd offer some free instruction here. So let's talk a little bit about building uh, jazz lines, and I go into this in a lot more detail in the in the guitar ladder course, which you might want to watch some videos on that. You can enter guitar ladder on YouTube, and several videos will come up. Or you can go uh, go to Steve's at Guitars. Net. And then when you get to Steve's at guitars.net, just hit the uh, guitar ladder uh, at the top and uh, check out some videos there. But let's talk, as you know, I really like the diminished scale a lot. And, and one, this is going to seem like a very simple concept, but the whole idea that I try to do in my guitar ladder system, there's a jet going over, so I'm speaking louder, is present the material in a way that kind of bypasses a lot of intellectual um, garbage, really. I don't know how else to put it. Because I want you to hear this in your mind and visualize it. Like Larry Coriel says, if you can hear the sound of a chord, you can figure out where to place it. But a lot of it is learning how to kind of uh, do enough, you know, if you sit down and you're always learning how to take chords in a new direction. And when you sit there and you know, like cycle number one in my guitar ladder system is this. Boy, this guitar is just ringing out. I can't believe it. It really has a nice depth. That's cycle one. But the whole point is, uh, you know, by doing these chord cycles, it really just builds your, your ear. It's ear training as well as elasticity. And you begin to understand the art and science of music on a subconscious level because you begin to piece together how things work and how they go together. But anyway, so I was talking about creating, you know, jazz lines with a diminished scale. So one nice thing to do is you take the, this arpeggio like this, okay, C diminished, and you, you come down, you repeat that. kind of a augmented splash so there you go to the diminished arpeggio you could do um, dotted eights and so uh, but, but by, by taking this diminished arpeggio and kind of chromaticizing here in the second string as opposed to just that, right? You kind of chromatic, and then you repeat that pattern. Go up a half step. So that to diminish our arpeggio to the half step whole step scale. Okay, and you can think in terms of what I've been thinking about lately, calling it like uh, phrase memory. So that's like one kind of thought in my head. So even though you want to practice that lick, you know, all those parts, you want to kind of also practice the small part. Boy, this guitar has a great jazz tone, huh? It's good just to practice one little phrase like that. Move it. You can just do so much with that half step pulse. It's, you know, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, two, four. Okay. And uh, always be, one of the things I teach my students to do is, you know, work in one chord color and then just switch to another, another color uh, without being concerned about your tonal center, just so you can experience the color of that scale and that color in that position of the guitar. For example. 
Okay, so I go from the dominant to a, a pentatonic. Now I'll change to a different pentatonic. To that form. Okay, or maybe. But the idea is to work that diminish and place your accents. Bam. And also work it without the accents. But I like to get that kind of. So the idea there is you kind of get this rolling train with the diminished arpeggio, chromaticize, and then you know you're chromaticizing again on the on the G string, and then you, you repeat that it's like a sequence scale. This time you do an augmented splash, like an augmented seven. Then you go to the augmented triad, maybe dotted eighths. Okay, so those ideas. How you want to do that? Uh, come in with this what I call augmented splash, then to the diminished arpeggio. Now I'm, I'm I'm into an augmented sound. I love the augmented. The idea is what I'm trying to get across here is when you're practicing single note lines, it's good to do it and just kind of pick like start with diminished, work in a certain area of the guitar, and then come back in, in a different kind of a sound. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta keep these short. You see that back if you can see it. I don't know how that's coming out, but sure is a beautiful guitar. Uh, this is almost saying this is a keeper. It, this just has so much tone. I'm, I'm really surprised. It has a, a very airy mid range, airy, but yet still a nice solid tone as well. All right, take care.